April last year, Jane, not her real name, has been knocking on every door of premises owned by Goldenscape Greenhouses Company, a firm involved in a multi-billion shillings investment scam, hoping to get a refund on her 760,000 Kenya shillings investment. Jane, like hundreds of other investors, has also been to the Directorate of Criminal Investigations along Kiambu Road numerous times to follow up on the matter, her efforts bearing no fruit. Iyo pesa sikuwa nimeweka mahali actually nilichukua loan kwa sako. Because nikifanya hesabu zangu nilikuwa naona nitaweza kulipa hiyo loan nilikuwa nimechukua na kuna pesa nitapata juu. So hii pesa ya juu ndio nilikuwa niweze kufanya nayo ile mambo nilikuwa nataka kufanya nayo. Eh, but uh, sasa niko hapo na sako na ngengana nayo sina pesa ya kuwalipa. In what looked like a once in a lifetime opportunity to the elusive financial freedom goal Jane took a SACO loan and entrusted it in Peter Wangai's company, which promised to construct a greenhouse and grow crops, which would then result in millions of shillings of returns to her. But several months later... Goldenscape underwent a complete metamorphosis and has now become Golden Escape. Uh, we were to get our dues after every six months for three years. So the first rollover was supposed to be in uh, uh, 20, uh, April 20, 2020 for 550 Kenya shillings, which we never got. I never got to get my first rollover. What lured the victims even further when it came to signing the mouthwatering deal was the installments paid out to the early birds. And without realizing the bait, thousands signed up, with a few investing up to 60 million Kenya shillings individually it ranges starting from as low as 50000 because there was a plan of uh, the smallest person who who is struggling to start with 50000 to the highest who invested 60 million i got referred by a friend we were working with with uh, she had invested and she had gotten her first roll over so I saw it a good deal. In the deal, Goldenscape Greenhouses offered contractual obligations to investors with an assurance of a 550,000 Kenya shillings return on a 320,000 Kenya shillings investment after six months. Over 300 investors have already recorded statements with the DCI, with more than 3,000 contracting lawyers to represent them in the pursuit for their rights and resources. The victims have, however, blamed the DCI and the office of the DPP for laxity in investigating and prosecuting the directors of Goldenscape for the economic crimes they committed. It is only fair that Mr. Peter Wangai and his co-directors be arraigned in court as advised by the DPP. As a result of the default, lives have been shattered, homes have been broken, and lives have been lost. Justice delayed is justice denied. The victims of the multi-billion Kenya shilling scam say they will commence private legal proceedings against the firm if the Directorate of Criminal Investigation does not take action within the next 30 days. We contacted the CEO of Goldenscape company, Peter Wangai, who agreed to an interview with Citizen TV. But when we reached the agreed venue of the interview, Wangai was nowhere in sight and was no longer picking his calls.